Hello, my name is Christian, and today I'll be teaching you how to make French toast. You'll need a pan, obviously, a bowl, a whisk, and an egg for every two piece, two slices of bread. You'll need cinnamon. I just used the uh, Vietnamese organic. You'll either need sesame oil or butter, or I can't believe it's not butter. And you'll need bread, obviously. One t half a tablespoon of pure vanilla extract and two tablespoons for every egg of milk. Now, on to the next step. For the first step, you're going to need to turn your oven, I mean stove, on medium-high heat. And while you're making the other, the... While you're making the, um, whatever that stuff is. After you do that, you're going to want to, um, get all your ingredients. First, you'll want to crack the egg, so. And then pour the vanilla extract in. It's not going to be much. Pour the milk in and you're also going to want to get a tiny spoon is what you call it and with this little tiny spoon you're going to want to get the cinnamon and if you are going to make French toast at home, which I doubt, um, you're going to, you don't want to put too much cinnamon in, because then it'll just taste really bad. It'll just taste like bland bread, and you won't really want to eat it. So, I just put a little bit of cinnamon in, and then put this back, and then after you do that, you're going to want to start whisking it. Make sure nothing is left after you finished. you finished whisking it no not yet and after you finish whisk whisking it you're gonna take the whisk out of course and then put it down You'll want to put the bread in the mixture you've just made and make sure it soaks s enough of the mixture up. And you're going to want to coat it on both sides to make sure one side doesn't taste like way better than the other. Then you're going to want to put it on a plate and take it to the stove as fast as you can. And after you do that, the whisking, 
you're going to want to turn down the stove's heat to medium low because the medium high was just to speed up the um, cooking process. After you um, get the mixture, you're going to want to bring it closer to the pan so you don't have to run all the way to the pan. You're going to want to coat the bread in the mixture. So, it can be, doesn't taste bland on one side. When you're done, it should look about like this. And then before you put that into the pan, you're going to want to get the butter. You're going to want to get the butter and put it on the pan. Make sure it goes round. And before that well fishes out, you're going to want to put the toast on the butter and let that cook. For, stay on the stove for about 45 seconds. And You're going to want to flip it over. And push it down. Flip it over. And then, when it looks about like this, let me flip it one more time, just to make sure it's ready. Yeah. Okay, when it looks about like this, yeah, you should put it on the pan. I mean the plate. And turn off your stove. And clean up all your ingredients to make sure it's not a dirty kitchen. And in the end, the French toast should look like this. If you make it, enjoy.